the lights, Johnny. Uh, I'm glad you see in the good. You can see the cabin colours. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? Good, Michael. Good to see you. Thanks. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Rich, how are you? How are you doing? They're all coming out of the woodwork now. The man should have went to the president. I'm not where are we guys? Where are we guys? <laughs> Uh, we've been on the road now for five months 
traveling to get the nomination to come to the council and now to travel every part of the country. We were in Cork and Kerry yesterday morning and traveled up the whole way here last night. And it absolutely warms my heart to be back here in town. Uh, and I'm delighted to see so many people who I grew up with, went to school with, that I, I played football with. Even Terry Highland, who gave me my first job in the co-op in Valley Hills in Highland Hardware. Uh, and he has told me I have no option but to get Oris and Neutron because he won't take me Please God, <laughs> everyone together, please God, he'll be our next president. <laughs> to be in this race and uh, as, as I travel around the country I'm so heartened by all the community voluntary youth organisations everywhere I see, the GA clubs, the sports groups, all those who are working hard in our community and so much of what we're hearing in the last couple of years has been what's not working in Ireland, the negativity, the doom and gloom and yet everywhere in, the, in where I come from in Valley Hills and Castle Tower and here in Cavan and all the communities we have a tremendous community spirit and we have all the capability to write the next chapter of our, of our society and the economy. And I guess why I'm stepping forward, right back to my days in the Agricultural College, to Faroiga, to Markra, to the community group, and all that I've been involved in, is to bring all that now into the role of president. To use those skills to be relevant to the big challenges that we're facing now, which is massive unemployment, massive emigration, and the need to rebuild a sense of confidence and community spirit. There's a lot of work to be done at home in terms of building on Mary McAleese's great legacy. There's also a massive amount of work to be done internationally to bring tourism, to bring trade, to bring foreign direct investment here to Ireland. It's got to be about providing jobs for our young people. It's got to be about providing a stronger community spirit. And it's got to be providing for all of those who have disabilities that need to be, need to be included in our society. I won't give you a big long speech because you're going to hear lots of them, hopefully over the next 10 days, if the media ever get away the negativity and the speculation about uh, controversy and get to the real issue. What this is about is electing the next president of Ireland to be the voice of Ireland at home and to be the face of Ireland internationally. And I want to do that. And if I do that, and if I'm honoured to be elected, I will remember absolutely where I grew up in the village of Valley Hayes, the people who shaped, uh, shaped me, the, where I went to school, the people I played football with, the community groups that I was involved with, and all of you who in some way have contributed to get me to where I am. This is about me, but it's much more than about me. It's about a message, and it's about a message of where I come from, and what's good and best about Ireland. And if I'm honoured, I will represent Valley Hill, Cavan, and Ireland with dignity and decorum, and do everything I can to use my energies, and my abilities, and my talents, garnered over many years, to help Ireland in its recovery. That's my commitment, and I can tell you, I am so heartily grateful for every single, that everything that every single one are you doing, quietly or overtly, out there canvassing and helping. And the day, if I'm honoured to be elected, every single one of you will have a warm, open welcome to Aris and Uthra in recognition of all that you have done. And I can only thank you from the bottom of my heart to all my family and friends who are, who are doing so much. I am so proud to be from Cavan. Every stage I'm ever on, the first thing I do is say how much I love Cavan and how much I have learned and developed and how, old, how much I owe it. And I will continue to owe Cavan and to every single one of you for everything you're doing to help me in this race. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I look forward in the next 13 or 14 days to having a positive result. And I will owe that to each and every one of you. Thank you so much.